In Scottish folklore, Kelpies are mythical water spirits that are deeply ingrained in the country's legends and tales. These creatures are said to inhabit bodies of water such as lochs, rivers, and streams, particularly those in the Scottish Highlands. Kelpies are often depicted as shapeshifters, most commonly taking the form of a beautiful horse. They are renowned for their captivating appearance, often described as sleek, strong, and wild, with a black mane and eyes that shine with an otherworldly glow. These equine forms are said to be irresistible to humans, drawing them closer with their enchanting beauty. Now, legend has it that Kelpies possess a sinister side. While they may initially appear friendly and alluring, their true nature is that of a malevolent and cunning creature. Kelpies are said to use their captivating appearance to entice unsuspecting victims, in particular, those who venture too close to the water's edge. Once a person is lured into their grasp, the Kelpie's supernatural powers come into play. It's believed that they have the ability to transform into a monstrous creature, trapping their victims with an iron-like grip or adhesive skin. Once captured, the Kelpie drags their victims into the depths of the water, where they meet their demise. The stories of Kelpies often serve as cautionary tales, warning against the dangers of water and the treacherous nature of these creatures. They are considered to be malevolent spirits, preying on the unwary and foolhardy. Today, we'll talk about three tales of encounters with the mythical Kelpie of Scotland. Our first story is the tale of the wee boy and the Kelpie. Once upon a time, in an enchanting Scottish countryside, nestled near a meandering river, lived a young boy named Jamie. Jamie was known for his adventurous spirit and a curiosity that seemed to dance in his eyes. He spent his days exploring the lush meadows and wandering along the banks of the river, his mind filled with wonder. One sunny afternoon, while Jamie was playing near the river's edge, he noticed a captivating sight, a magnificent white horse standing nearby. Its coat gleamed like fresh snow, and its mane flowed like a cascade of silken threads. Jamie's eyes widened with awe, and he couldn't resist the temptation to approach the horse. As he drew nearer, the horse turned its gaze upon him. Its eyes were as bright as burning embers, sparkling with an otherworldly light. Mesmerized by its beauty, Jamie reached out his hand to touch the horse, and to his surprise, it nuzzled against him. You are a wondrous creature indeed, Jamie whispered, his voice filled with admiration. Can I ride upon your back? Oh, how thrilling it would be. The horse nodded its head as if granting permission, and Jamie's heart soared with delight. Without hesitation, he climbed upon the horse's back, and his small hands clutching the horse's shimmering mane. But as soon as Jamie settled into place, a sudden change overcame the horse. Its once smooth and lustrous body turned slimy and cold. The air around them grew heavy with an eerie chill, and the horse's eyes flickered with a haunting crimson glow. Realizing that something was amiss, Jamie tried to dismount, but it was too late. The horse's true form had been revealed. It was a malevolent kelpie, a shape-shifting water spirit known for its deceitful nature. Sensing Jamie's fear, the Kelpie snorted maliciously and galloped towards the river with incredible speed, its hooves pounding against the earth. Jamie's heart raced as he clung desperately to the Kelpie's mane, his tiny fingers gripping tightly. He could hear the rushing of the river growing louder, and panic surged through his veins. The Kelpie's intention was clear, to drag him into the river and drown him in the murky waters. But just as Jamie felt his hope fading, his eyes caught sight of a low-hanging tree branch dangling above the river. With a surge of strength and determination, he mustered every ounce of courage and flung himself towards it, managing to wrap his small fingers around the branch. As the Kelpie thundered into the river, its hooves splashing icy water in all directions, Jamie hung suspended from the branch, gasping for breath. His heart pounded fiercely as he watched the Kelpie disappear beneath the swirling currents. Slowly, Jamie pulled himself up onto the branch, his body trembling from the harrowing encounter. Tears mixed with relief streamed down his cheeks as he realized how narrowly he had escaped the clutches of the malevolent Kelpie. From that day forward, Jamie carried the memory of the Kelpie encounter with him, a reminder of the dangers that lurked in the waters. He became wiser and more cautious, sharing his tale with others to warn them of the treacherous nature of the Kelpie and the importance of heeding their instincts near the rivers and locks of Bunny Scotland. And so the legend of the wee boy and the Kelpie live on, whispered among the villagers for generations to come. Another such tale is that of the farmer's daughter and the Kelpie. Ages ago, in a Scottish village nestled within rolling hills and winding rivers, there lived a farmer named Duncan and his daughter, Fiona. 
Their modest cottage overlooked the tranquil lock, its sparkling waters a source of both beauty and mystery. Fiona was a radiant young woman with a spirit as wild as the Scottish moors. Her fiery red hair matched her spirited nature, and her laughter could rival the bubbling brooks that meandered through the countryside. She possessed a kind heart and an adventurous soul, often exploring the banks of the loch where legends of mythical creatures whispered in the wind. One summer's day, as Fiona strolled along the loch's edge, she caught sight of a majestic black horse grazing upon the grass nearby. Intrigued by his captivating presence, Fiona cautiously approached the horse, her curiosity piqued. As she drew near, the horse lifted its head, acknowledging Fiona's presence. Its eyes, filled with a mixture of wisdom and mischief, locked with hers. Entranced by the horse's beauty, Fiona felt an unexplainable connection. She reached out her hand, and to her surprise, the horse gently nuzzled against her palm. You are a magnificent creature, Fiona whispered. Can I ride upon your back? All the adventure we could share. The horse seemed to nod, granting her soft request. With a surge of excitement, Fiona mounted the horse, her hands gripping the silky mane. The moment she settled upon its back, a tingling sensation coursed through her veins, but she paid it no heed, enthralled by the prospect of a thrilling ride. Without warning, the horse sprang forward with breathtaking speed. The wind whipped through Fiona's vibrant hair as they raced across the countryside. Their exhilarating journey carried them through meadows, over babbling brooks, and beneath the ancient stone bridges that dotted the landscape. But as they neared the lock's edge, a transformation came over the horse. Fiona's heart sank and a chilling realization washed over her. She had unwittingly mounted a kelpie, a creature of the water known for its deceitful nature. The Kelpie's intent became clear as it lunged towards the lock. Panic surged through Fiona's veins as she clung desperately to its mane, desperately trying to free herself from the treacherous grip. The Kelpie's dark laughter echoed through the air as it plunged into the depths of the lock, determined to claim its prey. Realizing the direness of her situation, Fiona reached deep into her memory, drawing upon the wisdom imparted by her grandmother. With a trembling voice, she began reciting a prayer, a plea for protection against the forces of darkness. As her words echoed over the water, a miraculous transformation occurred. The Kelpie's form disintegrated, replaced by a mound of slimy seaweed, while Fiona herself was enveloped by a shimmering aura of light. The lock accepted her prayer, preserving her life and granting her the strength to swim back to the safety of the shore. Gasping for breath, Fiona emerged from the water, her heart still racing. She gazed back at the lock, now calm and serene, as if nothing had occurred. She understood the true nature of the Kelpie, a malicious trickster that used its beauty to lure unsuspecting victims to their demise. From that day forward, Fiona carried the tale of her encounter with the Kelpie, sharing it with everyone who would listen. Her words served as a warning, reminding villagers to be cautious near the waters and to never underestimate the treacherous nature of the creatures that dwelled within. A final tale, at least for today, is that of the fisherman's bargain. Long ago, in a remote fishing village nestled along the rugged Scottish coast, there lived a skilled fisherman named Angus. With salt in his veins and the spirit of adventure in his heart, Angus spent his days casting his nets into the sea, relying on the bounties it provided to sustain his village. However, there came a time when the fish grew scarce, and Angus found himself returning home with empty nets more often than not. Frustration etched lines upon his weathered face as worry settled in his heart. He knew that his village depended on the abundance of the sea for their livelihood, and without fish, their future seemed bleak. One fateful day, as Angus cast his weary gaze upon the lapping waves, he noticed a magnificent white horse grazing near the water's edge. Curious, Angus approached the horse, his weathered hands outstretched. To his astonishment, the horse turned its head and regarded him with intelligent, gleaming eyes. A voice as soft as a whispering tide filled Angus's mind. Good fisherman, I am a Kelpie, a creature of water and land. I have observed your plight and offer you a bargain. Allow me to drink from the river that sustains your village each day, and in return, I shall grant you an endless supply of fish to fill your nets. Angus's heart stirred with hope and he considered the Kelpie's offer. The temptation of abundance tugged at his spirit, promising to lift the village out of despair. With a resolute nod, 
Angus accepted the Kelpie's proposal, sealing their pact. From that day forth, true to its word, the Kelpie appeared each morning, approaching the river's edge to drink. Angus would watch the majestic creature lower its head, its mane cascading like a waterfall as it sipped from the pristine waters. And like clockwork, the fish swarmed his nets, filling them to the brim, each catch more plentiful than the last. The village rejoiced in their newfound prosperity, their hearts filled with gratitude for Angus and his miraculous catch. The fish brought abundance, nourishing both their bodies and spirits. The village flourished, and the specter of poverty slowly faded away. But as the years passed, a nagging curiosity gnawed at Angus's mind. He wondered what secret lay beneath the Kelpie's kind facade. Driven by a desire to uncover the truth, Angus resolved to follow the creature on its daily journey to the river. With cautious steps, he trailed the Kelpie one fateful morning, keeping a safe distance. His heart pounded with a mix of trepidation and excitement as he ventured deeper into the wilderness, the Kelpie leading him through shadowed glens and dense thickets until they arrived at the riverbank. To his astonishment, as the Kelpie lowered its head to drink, its form began to shift and transform. The elegant white horse dissolved, revealing the true nature of the creature, an ominous Kelpie with eyes that burned like smoldering coals. Angus's blood ran cold as he realized the treacherous game he had unknowingly played. He had bargained with a creature of dark magic, a being that fed upon the misfortunes of humans. Fear gripped him as he watched the Kelpie dive into the river, its malicious laughter echoing through the misty air. Filled with newfound determination, Angus severed the bargain, vowing never to allow the Kelpie access to the river again. The Kelpie's magic diminished, and the fish that had once flooded his nets gradually diminished as well. However, Angus embraced the challenge, knowing that true sustenance came from the toil of the sea, not from ill-fated bargains. With a heavy heart, Angus returned to his village, his tale of caution spreading like the waves that crashed against the shore. The villagers listened, heeding his words and realizing the price they had almost been paid for their prosperity. And so the story of the fisherman's bargain became etched into the tapestry of Scottish folklore, a reminder that quick riches and abundance often come at a cost too great to bear. Angus's village continued to rely on the unpredictable sea, its people guided by the wisdom that true fortune lies in honest labor and the resilience of the human spirit. Now, despite their dark reputation, Kelpies have also been known to exhibit a more benevolent side. In some legends, it is believed that they can be tamed or controlled by a brave and skilled individual. The stories of individuals successfully harnessing a Kelpie's power or capturing them for their own purposes are rare, but they do still exist within Scottish folklore. The tales of the Kelpies have been passed down through generations, etching themselves into the cultural heritage of Scotland. These captivating water spirits continue to fascinate and intrigue, reminding those who hear the stories to be cautious near bodies of water and to respect the mysteries of the natural world.